Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Chevrolet Lucchetti. Most of the cars are equipped with the 5-speed manual transmission. This unit is a relative of the Opel box of the F16 series and is compatible with it in, in terms of shafts and differential, but has its own housing. The option is extremely reliable. Most of the machines are equipped with a release bearing assembly with a hydraulic cylinder. The Opel hydraulic cylinder is conditionally eternal, but the Korean one most often doesn't survive up to 150 to 100,000 km. In addition, the craftsmen do not like it, because in case of unsuccessful installation of the clutch, it can easily disassemble. For those who have had some grief with this unit, there is an option with the installation of an external hydraulic cylinder from Naxia and a separate police bearing with a fork. Do not be surprised at such options. In general, the clutch gearbox linkage is distinguished by an enviable resource. Besides, spare cars are cheap. The main complaints are about the complexity of the replacement work, oil leaks and the loose gear selection mechanism. The oil level must be monitored, checked at least at every second MOT, and the switching mechanism can be easily prepared with Naxia units or a repair kit from any Opel, or even just by selecting washers and bolts. A lot of good things have been said about the automatic transmissions of the S630 series, and I will not repeat myself. Moreover, it is extremely rare, but I will burn against the exotic Isin U440. Despite the unsuccessful work on a number of Toyota, Chevrolet and Suzuki models, it didn't show itself very well here. The reason is the weakness of the planetary gear, it is not designed for 1.6 engines, with which it was installed on Tlachetti. It is difficult to find a 5-speed Isin AW5551 with a 2-liter engine. Cars with it could get to Russian only by accident. It was installed only for two years, from 2007 to 2009. On top end audio configurations in the USA and the Buick for China with the same engine. This box has repeatedly lived up in my reviews. I can only say that it is quite reliable, especially in combination with a 2 liter naturally inspired engine, because it is designed for much more powerful ones. With runs up to 200,000 km, the ZF4 HP16 box rarely fails, after which the half life is another 100,000 km. There is only one drawback of this box, a conservative four stage design which doesn't provide explosive dynamics and low fuel consumption on the highway. Otherwise, this is an extremely balanced design and with an oil change at least once every 60,000 km, it is extremely reliable. The root of all problems is usually either well body contamination and failure of solenoids and wiring or problems with the oil pump poachings due to overheating of the gas turbine engine. It is difficult to achieve this, but some owners manage to disable the box ahead of schedule. It is often said that the E-Tech 2 1.4 1.6 engines of the F-15 D3, F-16 D3 and F-18 D3 series were inherited from Opel by the Lachetti. In practice, almost all of them belong to GM Family 1. First family like Opel engines, but they differ slightly from them in the geometric parameters of the cylinder head, not to mention the control and intake system. Dow licensed Family 1 engines, but further development was carried out in-house. Moreover, under the same motor code, in fact, different designs are hidden. Until 2007, the 1.4 engines are the L595 series and the 1.6 engines are the L91 series. The units, I may say, turn out to be very problematic, since this is the Korean company's own attempt to create a 16 valve cylinder head for its engines in cooperation with Holden. Of course, with the use of GM technologies and components, and therefore there is a similarity with the Opel engines of the X14 XE and X16 XE out series. But after 2007, the engines were seriously redesigned in order to unify with European ones and become very similar to the Y14 XE and Y16 XE and the newer Z14 XEP, Z16 XER, respectively, but still not identical to them. The 1.4 engine after 2007 is called LDP and the 1.6 is called LXT. After modernization, most of the problems of the first series have remained in the past. But the rare 1.8 engine is always an ordinary European Z18XE. It has its own German control system and its own cylinder head, which differs from the Korean ones. A very rare 2.0 engine is the Korean license of the GM X20XE V engine, but of its own production and with difference in the control and intake system. Structurally, the motor is more reminiscent of the Z22XE while maintaining a volume of 2 liters. We figured out the designations, now about it means in practice. All motors are with multi-point injection and 4 valves per cylinder. Engine 1.8 has an ignition system with a cassette. Ignition module and engines 1.4 and 1.6 cause a cheaper system with a conventional ignition module and wires. 
All motors have a timing belt drive, it also drives the pump. Variable intake manifold. The engine block is almost the same, it differs only in the cylinder diameter, the crankshafts are also different. What are the problems of motors 1.4 and 1.6 before 2007? First of all, complaints were caused by problems in the mechanical part. The most serious defect is the tendency to hang valves. They wedge in the guide in the opened position. And if you ignore the emerging problems with compression and unstable operation of the motor, the valve can jam completely, which will lead to the fracture of the pusher or even a breakdown of the camshaft. The problem was eliminated as part of warranty repairs, but some of the engines still have parts from problem series. So there are almost no failures because even a slight wear on the valve stem and guide reduces the risk of venting. Nevertheless, it is worth choosing a car that has received an upgraded cylinder head with new valve guides up and the valve themselves. By the way, there is also a collective farm in the form of a cylinder head from the Opel X16 XEL. Such an inexpensive alternation made it possible to inexpensively eliminate the problem, albeit at the cost of installing a fairly old part with a decent wear if it was not possible to modify the native part. It is quite simple to distinguish collective farm, the old cylinder head from Opel has its own special cover. The second characteristic problem is that the, pre is that the pressurization of the intake manifold and its warpage caused by overheating. The formation of the axis of the intake geometry adjustment flaps and an increased amount of oil carbon from the ventilation system. The collector is nominally disposable and non-separable, but in practice it is successfully repaired and the damper system is restored to its original form. It is recommended to clean the collector every time the timing belt is replaced, because a thick layer of oil with soot can literally clog most of it. Exhaust manifold cracks are also common, but usually the manifold is simply welded. On motors with a mileage of more than 200,000 km, the crankcase ventilation system is almost always clogged, and the first time of its malfunction, oil leaks from under all the oil seals and gaskets, begin after the first 100,000 km. Maintenance is simple and doesn't require replacing any components like PCV valves. They just aren't there. It is enough to clean the hole in the throttle space and the oil separator in the cylinder head cover. For the same reason, it is strongly recommended that when replacing the timing belt, change the oil seals of the front engine cover and if there are signs of fogging of the oil pump, it is here in the block directly on the crankshaft, also its gasket. Otherwise you can get not a torn but a rotated timing belt and bent valves. If the upper hose of the radiator warms up quickly, then pay attention to the thermostat. In winter it will warm up for a long time. The unsuccessful design of the original part leads to the fact that even the most inexpensive Chinese ones provide a much faster warm up to operating temperature and a decrease in fuel consumption. Another misfortune of these engines is the use of an exhaust gas re recirculation system. Aka EGR. Firstly, even in a good condition, it supplies soot in the intake manifold, where it mixes with oil from the ventilation system and clogs the manifold and intake channels, and at the same time accelerates the coking of the valves. And secondly, it sometimes breaks down, begins to let gases pass to the intake constantly, which causes not only a drop in power, but also a rapid wear of the piston group engine vibrations and other negative effects. This is the case when, in spite of all environmentalists, it is recommended to completely remove the system. Unlike cutting out a catalyst, the effect will be rather positive, the engine will keep the exhaust clean longer and consume less fuel. But the often fashioned check engine is not longer a hardware problem, but an exclusively software problem. There are not lambda sensor failures or catalyst glitches. And the engine is not particularly picky about fuel as many people think. It's just that the flow in the control system software causes an error when the calorific value of the fuel or the MTP content changes. The resource of engines before restyling is mainly limited by the wear of the cylinder head, valves and intake, as well as coking of the piston rings. If EGR is not disabled, then by a mileage of 200 to 150,000 km, the engine receives a steady all appetite, a decrease in power and other related problems. This is if the valves do not fail when the mileage is up to hundreds of thousands of kilometers and they sometimes shoot even at high mileage, if they were not finalized. Sometimes a change in the style of operation to vegetable when the engine operates only at low speeds with a large load leads to a sharp increase in carbon formation and the manifestation of design flows with high mileage. Switching off EGR, monitoring the purity and tightness of the intake, correct operation of all auxiliary systems allows you to create a small miracle, and the engine can travel 350-400 thousand kilometers before the piston group is worn out. The 1.8 engine initially doesn't have problems with the EGR system, it has much less inlet soiling, more resource of the intake manifold and dampers, the thermostat lasts longer, there are no problems with the valves, 
and the check is completely uncharacteristic for it. But there are failures of the ECU controlling module, the ignition module is much more expensive and it is more sensitive to overheating, the piston group is easier to coke. The average resource before overhaul is about 250 to 150,000 km, but there are cars with noticeably high mileage. On this information, both the problems of Chevrolet Lechetti is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.